so this is our last uh, video for the week. We're going to go ahead and finish up with case four, example two. This is going to have a repeated quadratic factor. Um, we don't know that right now just by looking at it because the denominator is x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus 2x minus 1. Just ugly, ugly problem. And so first thing that we got to do is we got to factor this. And so I'm just going to write this down here in like a little side note. Factor x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus 2x minus 1. And I was thinking about grouping this, and then I looked at it, and I said, that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph it. And I already have this graph, so I'm going to see how this works. But when I look at this graph, all right, there's our graph. And we can see right here there's a 1 that's a 0, and we can see negative 1 is a 0. And if you just graph it, you'll notice that too. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do synthetic division to kind of break this down. So <clears throat> I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to say, all right, well, we're going to try 1. 1, negative 2, 0, 2, negative 1. Those are my values. Bring down the 1, multiply up, add down, multiply up, add down, multiply up, add down, multiply up, add down. We get 0. That's good. Homer Simpson's happy. Sprinkled donut. We're good to go. Okay. Now what that means is this breaks up into x minus 1, x cubed, minus x squared minus x plus 1. We're going to break that down even more because I'm going to try negative 1 for my graph. Remember I said 1 and negative 1 were both there. So I'm going to bring down the 1. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. That's negative 2. That's 2. That's 1. That's negative 1. 0. Oh boy, bonus day for Homer. Again, another donut. That's good. <coughs> And so now, this breaks down into x minus 1, x plus 1, and then we have x squared minus 2x plus 1. This looks like it should be factorable, but I don't think it is. Um, are there two numbers that multiply together? Oh wait, it is. So that's good. Let's try it again. We're going to go ahead and break that down even further. we got x minus 1, x plus 1, then we got x minus 1, x minus 1. Does that work? Alright, I think we're good to go. So now what we have is this x minus 1 to the third power times x plus 1. So this is not a quadratic repeated. This is a linear repeated right there. And we're going to have to write it x minus 1 to the first, x minus 1 to the second, and x minus 1 to the third power. So, let's uh, come down here and we'll write this all out. We got negative 2x squared plus 5x minus 1 all over x minus 1 cubed times x plus 1. Let's set it up. I said we're going to have to set it up three times. x minus 1 to the first, x minus 1 to the second, x minus 1 to the third, x plus 1. Because each one is a linear factor, we're just going to use A, B, C, and D. And that's going to work out very nicely. So now what's going to happen is when I multiply both sides by the common denominator, x minus 1 to the third, x plus 1. Here we got x minus 1 to the third, x plus 1. The left side, denominators cancel the right side, one of these is going to cancel, so I'm really going to have a times x minus 1 squared times x plus 1, yikes, plus b, that whole thing is going to cancel um, with two of these, so I'm going to have x minus 1, x plus 1, then this will cancel with the whole thing, so I get c, x plus 1, and then here, the x plus 1 will cancel, and I get x minus 1 cubed. Now a lot of multiplying needs to happen. This is x minus 1 squared, so we're going to have a x squared minus 2x plus 1. That's times x plus 1. Let's just keep working on this right here. We got a x cubed plus x squared. Um, 
we got negative 2x squared, negative 2x, 1x, and 1. Combining like terms A and distributing to A, we got AX cubed minus AX squared. That gives me negative X, so negative AX, and then plus A. And that's that first term. Then we got B times this factors or foils to be X squared minus 1. So that's BX squared minus B. Just bring that down here, BX squared minus B. This is just cx plus c. And then finally, ugh, x minus 1 cubed. Yucca, 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 yucca. So we're going to say d, x minus 1, x minus 1, and x minus 1 again. So that's going to be d, x minus 1 times x squared, sorry about this, minus 2x plus 1, d uh, times, let's see, x times x squared is x cubed, x times negative 2x is negative 2x squared, x times 1 is x, then we got to distribute the negative 1, so we got negative x squared, positive 2x, and negative 1. So my final multiplication is going to be a, ax cubed minus ax squared minus ax plus a plus bx squared minus b plus cx plus c plus dx cubed. Then I got a negative 2x squared and a negative x squared. That's a negative 3dx squared. I got an x and a 2x. That's going to be plus 3dx and then a negative 1, which is negative D. Holy cow. All right, so let's finish this problem up. This one's a, a doozy. So we got A and D for our X cubed terms. That's there and there. For X squared, we have, let's write these out, negative A plus B minus 3d, that's x squared. Let's do x terms, negative a, there's a bx, there's a cx, and there's 3d and the x. And then finally the constants, we got a minus b plus c minus d. Okay, our system, A plus D. Let's just write this out a little bit better. A plus D equals zero. There's no X cubed term on the left. Then we got negative A plus B minus 3D equals negative two. Negative A plus C plus 3D equals five. And then A minus B plus C minus D equals negative 1. I would put that in my calculator. I'm going to try doing this real quickly. Let's see here. If I go and do um, RREF, I'm going to say RREF, add the parenthesis, we're going to have a 4 by 5 biggest matrix I think we've done yet. Four by five, and let's put them in. We got one, zero, zero, one, zero, negative one, one, negative three, oh no, that's a zero, sorry. Zero, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, three, five, and then one, negative one, one, negative one, negative one. And you can see our answers there. It goes negative one, zero, one, one. So that means that A equals negative one, B equals zero, C equals one, D equals one, 
and when I put that up here, I got 1 over x minus 1 plus 0 over x minus 1 squared plus 1 over x minus 1 cubed plus 1 over x plus 1. This term we don't need, so our final answer to make it all nice and pretty is 1 over x minus 1 cubed plus 1 over, oh that's a negative 1, oops, I almost made a big mistake there. Negative 1 over x minus 1 plus 1 over x minus 1 cubed plus 1 over x plus 1. Good job.